Okay guys, here's a brand new Jayco travel trailer. It's a 2024. The model is 235 MBH. It's a double axle for stability when towing. And let's go inside and take a look. It's a brand new trailer. Okay, now when you step up, you do have three steps. I always like to make a note uh, if you're elderly or disabled uh, you just have to make sure you're able to get up these steps. It does have this grab rail where you can hold on, okay? And then when you walk in, you have nice laminate flooring. It's like a darker brown gray. And you have your dinette as soon as you walk in with a huge sliding window, which I love. And a great sectional, which is multifunctional, mainly used as a place to eat. Or if you were doing like remote work with your laptop, etc. Now I will say on the negative side, the, these seats are not too comfortable, okay? Um, but they're functional. And they can be used also uh, for a separate sleeping areas if you took this desk out. Um, now when you come and you open up a little bit and you look around, what I do like is the white colors make it feel... Uh, more roomy and with the light coming in and the white colors it offsets the dark tones and the smaller space so it makes it feel more open and airy and that feel is good the white cabinetry which you can't fully tell with the sun reflection coming in but the white cabinetry oh excuse me the white uh, countertop with the countertop cover very big sink here double sink uh, black faucet and you do have white cabinets and um, you do have a stove. Let's take a look at that. So very functional. A three burner propane gas top. A vent range. And a built in microwave. So everything you would need as far as a kitchen. And I do love that you do have a very big refrigerator. Plenty of storage. And a separate freezer. Also pretty big for a travel trailer. So the kitchen itself has the white countertops, white cabinetry, which again makes it feel brighter. I like this backsplash too, which is a nice design, makes it feel a little classier. And it opens up to your main area here. Now this area is a separate sitting area, which would kind of be used more as a recreational uh, to watch uh, TV. And if I set down here, your TV, a very small TV, is located up top. And the seating here uh, is, is comfortable, I would say, overall. And you do have a window, and you can leave the door open at your campsite. Um, and you have another window here. Even though it's an emergency egress, it'll go open. So it's, it's a nice feel here on this couch to relax uh, somewhat. Uh, you may want recliners. That would be the only negative. Uh, now, the other part of this is this is a multifunctional area where the bed on latches okay you got to kind of pull it in pull it out and it would come down okay and then there's a uh, not a full queen size bed but a bed that would come down once you uh, bring down the jackknife sofa here kind of comes down I'm not going to fully do it now this is just a general overview of the unit but you do have little cubby areas when you bring that bed down or when you're just using it with the bed up that you can lay your electronics or a laptop and you do have AC outlets on both sides for charging your electronics or laptops because that would be your main bed here, okay? That again, for more room when you're not using it at night, you could put up. Now, many people don't like that because they don't want to make their bed every day or go through that process. So you, you could leave it down. It just gives you less living space because you do have a separate sleeping quarter, but it's mainly for kids, I would say, or guests, which is a, a bunk beds. You have a bunk bed here on the bottom with a window that does pop out. And you have a second one up top with a window that slides. So you do have uh, an experience here where you can... It, this is mainly built for a couple with kids because that's kind of why you get the bunkhouse models. When you're buying an RV, they say the number one thing you should look at is the floor layout because you can't change that and that's the core okay the core of how it is going to serve your purposes 
everyone is different. If you're single, you have different purpose for your RV. If you're a couple with kids, you have a different pur purpose. If you're a retired couple, you have a different purpose because me, me, Maybe if you're retired, you're an empty nester, you don't really see your grandkids coming on too many camping trips or not enough to justify a bunkhouse floor model. Everyone's different, but that's something you got to consider. The positives here are the nice white tones that offset the smaller space and the dark tones and the open floor layout, which is multifunctional with your main bed up. Uh, now let's take a look at the one and only bathroom. And before we do that, I will note you have some more storage here, which you could use as like a pantry because there isn't too many cabinets but again when you're going camping or you're rving you're outdoors more and you may even be eating out more or cooking outside more on grills barbecue grills etc uh, here is your one and only bathroom it's not a wet bath which is good you have a separate shower uh like that fiber glass surround shower with a higher end nozzle which i like okay black handle these are a little cheap but it is what it is sunlight to come in little cubbies here for storage towels and things nice nice space and of course your toilet your vanity sink okay and you do have some controls for your climate control ac outlet for your hair clippers or hair dryer and of course your medicine cabinet so everything you would need to camp or some people choose to live out of an rv fully self-contained meaning it has a kitchen a sleeping area and a place to go to the bathroom and that's what it means to be self-contained it means that you have everything a house has as far as to sleep to cook and to shower and go to the bathroom and so all you would need then is the hookups to accommodate that having running water electric and sewer which most campsites or mobile home parks provide and that's where you'll end up I mean, obviously, you can dry camp and you can go to Crackle Barrels, Walmarts, gyms, but that's a temporary solution. So you need to plan financially for the purchase of the RV, the gas, the tow vehicle, and where you plan to use it, how you plan to use it, and your camping fees, all those things, etc. Because like everything in life, you want to calculate the cost. The RV does not give you freedom. The financial planning and your health give you the freedom. The RV is a vehicle to take you to a destination. Your freedom comes from your financial planning and your health. Many people forget that, okay? But, because remember, when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to start by going to Walmart. You want to start by going for a walk because better quality life, okay? In my opinion, do whatever you want. Hopefully this video helped in some way. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if it did, and I thank you for watching.